Greetings guys, it's Irish here. Um been busy with work and family and stuff like that, so I thought I would take a brief view of something that I'm sure many of you are aware of. It's called Piehole. So it's a network wide ad blocker. So I had a first generation uh Raspberry Pi that I wasn't really doing much with. Uh, I was using that as my uh, ZNC bouncer um, on my main uh, on my home network but that kept going in and out so I'm like okay what else can I do uh, VPN I tried doing like a Pi VPN but never could get that to work so I'm like I'm getting tired of some of these ads on uh, some of the websites that I visit. So, AccuBase, one of my friends on uh, that I talked to, he had a Pi VPN, or sorry, a, a Pi Hole. So, let me uh, get you to the website just to show you what it looks like, and it's super easy to maintain and everything else like that. And then we'll get into uh, somewhat of like the setup and stuff like that. Uh, so it is a network-wide ad blocking, so it's perfect for a Raspberry Pi attached to your router. Um, it is super simple, so you can install you can install it on Raspbian, Debian, Ubuntu, CentOS, Docker, and Fedora. Um, there is a Docker install, then support uh, supported operating systems, but uh, so the one thing you will need is to have uh, whichever system that you put this on, you have to have a static IP since uh, it, it, it does use, um, since it's going network wide, it's pretty much a DNS, um, your own DNS server uh, in a way because it does filter out all the ads that get stuff in there. The simple one that I like to do is the one-step automated install. It's a uh, NCURSES uh, install, if not like a CLI install, and it's super simple. You just say what your DNS wants to be. So I went with OpenDNS. You can have Google DNS. Uh, you can have any other type of DNSs. They have like a several uh, several um, that you can choose from. Uh, you can do it manually, so you can clone the repository and run it that way, or you can manually download it, the installer, and run it. So let me uh, show you what it looks like in my Raspberry Pi here. So I'm just going to show you here. So again, you don't really need... Um, it, it does come with a web interface. Uh, but let me show you what this looks like. So Pi-hole, so you can do, you can update the Pi. Uh, I just did this recently, so I doubt there'll be anything. So you just say up, and it will actually check for updates. Uh, it should check for the Raspbian updates and uh, other stuff like that. Uh, everything's up to date. You can say admin or A. Uh, so if you forget what your password is, uh, you can change your password. Uh, set an administrative contact address for for the block page. Host record. You can change the temperature to Fahrenheit, Kelvin, Celsius. Uh, here's the interface, which is like a DNS mask interface. Uh, and so let me show you what the uh, web interface looks like. So granted, it is attached to your router here but without even logging in it tells you percentage blocked how many queries blocked total of queries domains blocked since I've uh, installed this about maybe a week ago so now if we just log in It will give you a graph over the 
last 24 hours. I did lose power today, so it may not show uh, a dead zone clients. And then here's the query type, so it does show majority of IPv4. And now some of it is starting to show for IPv6, which is probably good since uh, IPv4 is exhausted um, for sure. Then you have your blocked domains. So I have a couple things from Amazon. Um, nextage.com, I don't know what that is. Uh, Motads.com. Uh, there are some that I probably need to block. Uh, cloudfront.net don't know what that is the nice thing is you can actually see it uh, you can go into it and see if you need to block it so now say this will block everything that is uh, it determines as a ad however I do have sling TV so you do have to do a whitelist because I believe ESPN and some of the other uh, uh, some sites will get blocked and will not work. So for Sling, it would be these two things that you would need to whitelist, and then everything should work. So the nice thing is uh, I did run I did run this before, and the weird thing was uh, let me go back to the dashboard. Uh, the first time I ran this, I had like 70% uh, blocked, percentage blocked. So I feel like 24, 25% is more reasonable. Um, as you can see, uh, I, I do visit uh, like Dropbox.com for my Dropbox here. Uh, I do go to ArchLinux.org a few times since I'm actually on an Arch machine right now. Uh, and then if you want to know based off of your uh, and IP forms uh, this shows you the requests going out so this uh, 192.168.1.125 is the current machine that I'm on and then you can see if these are say like your cell phone or other computers that are on your network Again, this is very low maintain, so you pretty much set it up and forget about it and enjoy. Uh, one of the websites that I've been going to because I am starting to uh, learn Colmac, um, uh, if I go to this, it's called 10 Fast Fingers. It's just a standardized testing. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing on here except the text. However, if I go to this at, say, my work, there's videos, there's ads along here, so anything that you see in a dead zone here is filled with ads. So the more, um, the one who abuses it mostly is Facebook. Um, I don't go on Facebook anymore. I'm probably I should probably just get rid of it. I just have it because my Spotify is attached to it. But yeah, uh, so if you set, so if you went to Facebook before setting this up and then went to Facebook after, you'll notice a big change. There's, you're not going to see as many ads. It's not going to follow you, stuff like that. So uh, again, this was going to be a brief look. Uh, I will put the website down for here if you are interested and I may give it another try uh, for the Pi VPN because I've always wanted a VPN um, so I can give that a try again but I've never gotten it to work but you can donate uh, become a patron uh, and I think it's a very awesome way to use like an older version of a of a Raspberry Pi or Beagle Board Banana Pi or whatever the other uh, Raspberry Pi uh, similar to the architecture. So, if you have a older Raspberry Pi, I suggest chucking Pi Hole on there, and you'll love it. It's really good. the The, the thing is, you'll just have to tweak 
certain domains to make sure like my wife she likes to go to like target.com that gets blocked by this pie hole I just have to whitelist it and then she'll be able to get her ads or her like coupons and stuff like that so there is some tweaking but once it's set you are good to go so let me know if you have any questions or if you've uh, looked into this or run it see uh, I'm curious what your guys' thought is on this pie hole I think it's really uh, a very good project for sure and hopefully it gets even better so uh, again let me know uh, what you guys think and I will catch you guys in the next video